Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. It is really a pleasure to chat with you. I love this film so much, and what you bring to Ambrosius is just fantastic. I'm curious for you, you so like, much. yeah, when, when you think of him, when you started out reading the script, what was it that stood out about him that you want to bring to your performance? I mean, I had the pleasure of being quite familiar with the graphic novel prior to auditioning. So I was first really interested to see how that translation from page to screen would work. I think the writers did such a wonderful job honoring Andy's vision, but also making the film version of Golden Loin very distinct. And what I was really struck by most was how upfront his relationship and his love for Ballister is essentially spoken pretty early on in the film. And that being established in a way that it feels so integral to his character and to the world building without making it a huge deal. I really fell in love with that aspect. It's fantastic. Did you get a chance to talk to ND at any point during this or have, have you met him yet? No, you know, Andy and I just went out last night. <laughs> a couple That's of amazing, times. Though. This happens to be during Pride in New York, so we're just saying we we should just go out and be very gay. But uh, yeah, I uh, I feel like just meeting ND and having the pleasure of being with him these past few days really just solidified that even if we had spoken um, a few years ago when I was cast, we really see things on the same page and. Um, I th I think that what he initially envisioned for Ambrosius being this uh, a little bit like broader, a little bit more of a, a cocksure, um, you know, nobleman, uh, there's still that essence in this character, but um, he always said that he appreciated that this golden loin in particular is just a little softer and a little bit more um, openly conflicted about duty versus love. And that's something I highly relate to just as a, a young Asian American gay man in this country. Well, it is fantastic. Your work in this, it, it, there's some scenes that just are so amazing. My daughter watched it with me two nights ago. She had oh, to watch it again last night. And that's so she awesome. adores it so much and watching with her makes me so happy. <laughs> I mean, Nimona is such a, uh, May I say badass? Yeah. Okay. She's such a badass character. I, I'm so excited for uh, children, especially to see how cool and what Chloe brings to the role is incredible. The, this character is so fun, just a little chaos gremlin. And I personally, although I relate a lot to Golden Loin, I aspire to be Nimona. I think we all should. I want to be. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> The chemistry that you have with Riz, the nacho scene in particular stands out for me. Did did you have any interaction at all around that point or was it strictly, you know, magic of studio recording? It's the magic of the directors. Nick and Troy are so gifted. And the fact that the three of us had never met in person or read with each other, it really feels the first time I watched the film back, I was shocked at how lived in these relationships were. It felt extremely organic. And the way that they directed me to um, connect, particularly with the nacho scene, that's probably the favorite scene I was able to read just because in the end, um, you know, they really pushed me to bring the performance to a more honest place. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was a huge part of the reason I was cast was to, you know, essentially infuse golden loin with a lot of my own experience so that entire scene i just kind of fell back on talking to how i would talk to my boyfriend i just said this is a fight i'm having with my partner yes i want the nacho shut up <laughs> i'm trying to tell you something i'm right and um that scene culminating with um those three special words was really important and um we recorded that many many times in a lot of different ways and i'm just glad that it translated well to screen that the chemistry between my character and riz's um, is believable because that is a huge part of um, how this story is so special and current and necessary. Everything about this film is amazing that you can take people who aren't in the same room together and make it feel like they're on the screen right in front of you. It is fantastic. Did you see what he was going to look like for the film? Because obviously if you knew what, what the comic looked like, but I'm curious if you knew kind of an idea. 
You know, when they um, first auditioned me, there was a little rendering of Golden Loin. And I know he he changed the most visually from the graphic novel. Mm. And um, I know they had, uh, there's a very special story about how um, Aiden, who's their production designer, he was part of the character development. And he had um, suggested me based on the fact that they were using, I guess, me as part of the visual reference for shaping the character. And that's how my name... Wow. They just decided we should just audition Eugene to see, you know, if he works out. Luckily, I'd already been, you know, sniffing around the voice acting world. And it was just really serendipitous because I, I guess it is rare that you have a character that, you know, both had the modeling aspect. Like they always joke. They're joking and everything that a lot of it was my hair. The hair is herring. It looks great. <laughs> I was like, yes. OK, I can see the I see the resemblance. Uh, but film Golden Loin, way hotter than me. It has to be that way. But he's, uh, yeah, I've, I felt the connection and I, I, I'm I, just so thankful and lucky and um, uh, really humbled by this idea that uh, Aiden immediately thought of me when they decided to take this character in a queer uh, East Asian direction. So, yeah, really, really strange, but delightful uh, circumstance where how his his modeling turned out. Well, it's an amazing story from start to finish. Thank you very much. I, I hope we get a sequel at some point, maybe. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Knock on wood. I would love it. I want it to be um, uh, two gay dads raising their chaos gremlin baby. <laughs> but it's just, it's just it's just like modern family, except, you know, uh, swords and dragons. <laughs> Thank you so much for the time. It really is a huge pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Likewise. Appreciate it. 